So there's been one voice crying in the wilderness for many years about the pernicious influence of hip hop and the recording industry. And that's Tom McDonald, a Canadian rapper who became famous with his first hit in 2017 called Dear Rappers, talking about how he grew up on hip hop, but now is beginning to question the message that they delivered to him. And since that time, he's done many songs along that vein, but probably the most direct attack was in 2020 when he recorded this video about the music industry. Look at all the rappers that the game's killed. Record labels making billions, why can't artists even pay bills? You get taken advantage of if you take deals. They're the devil, ain't no angels in the outfield. He get you chains and a bracelet, maybe a fake grill. He get you paid and you're famous, baby, it ain't real. Couple million think you made it, but the record label take it when you overdose on alcohol and pain pills. Give me a pen and a pad, I'm gonna get in the lab. I'm gonna kill him with tracks, I'ma deliver the facts. Nobody holding me back, labels are tricking the fans. Rappers are industry plans, everything planned. I ain't brain. Rappers are industry plants. <laughs> So we're right back to what Kat told us and what Jason told us. Some of our rappers, especially the ones with the big labels, are industry plants, which means they're there to spread a message that the owners of the record companies want to get out. It really doesn't matter if they're all that talented because they have the power of the star-making machinery behind them. Large amounts of money buy uh, promotion and get their music heard. Tom is showing us with this video, it's going back and forth between clean version of the Lamborghini designer clothes and this version here, where he's back in his leather jacket. He's got the word independent painted across that beautiful car, and it looks like it's about to burn up. Well, that's his opinion of all those things that he could have had. They aren't worth it. They aren't worth selling your soul for to the devil. Live for the facts, nobody holding me back. Labels are tricking the fans. Rappers are industry plans, everything planned. I ain't brain dead, never signed a deal, it don't make sense. Never let a label manipulate what I've made yet. Invading the industry independently, I break in. Kill the gatekeepers with a blaze, leave the gate bent. Mainstream rappers see the fame, wanna break bread. So lame for sale, never sell out, trying to pay rent. Illuminati puppets, the industry hail Satan. The devil making deals, I'm gonna shake hands. Independent. Did you hear the devil there laughing in the background? Ho 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 ho. We've got you now, sucker. I gotta admit, when I first saw this song a number of years ago, I thought, is it really true that the record industry is in league with the devil, that they're the, actually the Illuminati? But by their works, you shall know them. And if they are the ones supporting uh, the practices of people like Diddy, then you've got to say they're evil, evil in the extreme. And when you look at the result of what they've done to our culture, it's all bad. I can't think of much positive that's come out of hip-hop other than the people reacting against it, like Tom. Trying to pay rent, Illuminati puppets, the industry, hail Satan, the devil making deals, I'm gonna shake hands. Independent, underrated, these other rappers are hated, going viral with no label, with no manager or agent, call my mama, I got commas and the money going crazy, and she crying, trying to tell me that she's happy for a baby, like, ooh, ay, finally got that deal, got a pen in my hand, ooh, ay, like, how you trying to buy who the hell I am, you can keep your cash. So apparently he had just held a meeting with some record company executive to see what they would offer him. And that was the actual contract <laughs> that they did offer him, which he tore up. The real problem with those types of contracts is signing your life away. Sure, you might get a big pile of cash, but they own you. They own your image. They own your name. They own your music. They control what you can record what you can release it's not much of a deal if you want to be telling the truth you want to be independent and that's why he just tore it up Ooh, hey. like how you trying to buy who the hell i am you can keep your cash i'm not that broke i won't sign no contracts i do me y'all are canceled stealing people's dreams how can you sleep it's all rap hoes throwing cash in lambos i'm independent till i'm dead i quit the music industry Artists really only want to chase dreams. We're broke all our lives, begging labels, please take me. Tricked us into thinking getting deals is a great thing. Spend our whole careers trying to break free. The fans said they love us, trying to give them music they need. Label doesn't like it, that ain't mainstream. So exactly what I just said. If you try to record something that cuts a little too close, damaging the narrative, sorry, son, that's not mainstream. You can't produce that. You can't record that. You can't perform that. The fans said they love us, trying to give them music they need. Label doesn't like it, that ain't mainstream. You're looking in the mirror like what happened, man, this ain't me. I guess that I just don't see what they see. 
Give me a mic in the booth. I'm gonna die for the truth. I'm gonna fight for the youth. I don't got nothing to lose. Labels are hiding the proof. Look, I'm gonna give you a clue. Illuminati symbols are the logos major labels use. They're calling me an industry plant. I giggle and laugh. I'm the total opposite of what they want. I'm spitting the facts. I make songs about the honest things you whisper to fam. I've exposed the government. They want to kill me for that. I put the pedophile sex cults on infinite blast. I leaked the industry secrets and I did it with rap. How dare you try to say that my intentions aren't acting, that my vision is a pillar of their intricate plan. And when the man yeah, so that's a very common tactic. Accuse somebody else of doing exactly what you are doing. People like Diddy are industry plant. They won't admit that, but they will turn around and accuse somebody like Tom McDonald, who's totally independent, of somehow being an, an industry plant. It's ridiculous, and the things he just said there are absolutely true. He does speak the truth about the government. He does expose the pedophile ring. He does tell the truth about so many items. They try to knock him down by calling him an industry plant. Ridiculous. With rap. How dare you try to say that my intentions aren't acting, that my vision is a pillar of their intricate plan. No one to manage my decisions, independent gold packs. No, you won't see my initials on official contracts. Independent till I'm dead or I'm a bitter old man. Middle fingers, I'm a missile that they can't hold back. Like, ooh, ayy. Finally got that deal, got a pen in my hand. Ooh, ayy. Like, how you trying to buy who the hell I am? You can keep your cash, I'm not that broke. I won't sign no contracts, I do me. Y'all are canceled, stealing people's dreams. How can you sleep? It's all rap hoes, throwing cash in Lambos. I'm independent till I'm dead. I quit the music industry. Miss me with all of that industry talk. Work my whole life for the things that I have. Why would I give you the keys to the car? If you just gon' drive while I pay for the gas. I ain't gon' come to your meetings no more. Told you already, ain't giving you half. Y'all can't wait to get your feet in the door. Then lock me outside while you steal from my fans. Can't wait to get your feet in the door and then lock me outside while you steal from my fans. And why should I give you the keys to the car when all you're going to do is drive it and make me pay for the gas? Pretty good description of what the record company would like to do to people like Tom and others who are less fortunate and fell for that line. You have, y'all can't wait to get your feet in the door, then lock me outside while you steal from my fans. Keep your cash, I'm not that broke I won't sign no contracts, I do me Y'all are canceled, stealing people's dreams How can you sleep? It's all rap hoes, throwing cash in Lambos I'm independent till I'm dead, I quit the music Keep industry. your cash, I'm not that broke I won't sign no contracts, I do me Y'all are canceled, stealing people's dreams How can you sleep? It's all rap hoes, throwing cash in Lambos and for those who don't know, his videos are mainly produced and edited by his girlfriend, Nova Rockefeller. It looks like on this one, he had a little more, she had a little more help. But Nova actually was a hip hop artist who was signed by a record company early on before she even knew Tom. And she went through that whole mill. Eventually, got herself out of that contract, but it took a very long time. And she was so burned by the experience that when she met Tom and told him everything that the record companies were doing, it probably saved him. I'm going to show at the very end of this video because there's one more little gesture that expressed his feelings pretty well. <laughs> there's Tom McDowell giving the moon to the record industry. Tom is a little bit of an acquired taste because mainly of his appearance. <laughs> he's got the face tattoos, he's got the piercings, he's got the long braided hair. He's rapping, which is a musical style that most people have rightly dismissed because they're only familiar with the 90% of rap that is negative to the culture. But Tom figured out the best way to reach the youth of America and to wean them off of all that negativity is to use their language, to use their rap musical genre and turn it back. It's been a long fight, but he's had a lot of success. And hopefully if this Diddy thing ends up the way we hope, and then the people behind Diddy are exposed, that's probably more important than whatever happens to Diddy. He was just messing. Tom is my hero. He's the reason I started this reaction channel. I've done more Tom reactions than to any other artist and uh, can't wait for whatever he's got coming down the road next. But let's not forget some of these oldies but goodies.